Well, without going into the second part of your question as to what will be uh, into the inquiry, because it doesn't need too much inquiry, the President has confessed to his violation of his oath of office uh, right there, then and there. So they don't need too much inquiry. Uh, but the fact is, uh, uh, on what other occasions. But that's up to the committee. Let me just say, and I thank you both for your question, this gentleman as well. The path that we are going on now in terms of an inquiry of impeachment is sad. This is nothing that anybody takes any satisfaction in. It's sad for our country that we would have a president who would put us in this situation. But no one is above the law and the president will be held accountable. And it will be done in a fair way, in a way that is solemn, prayerful, respectful of our Constitution. I've tried to avoid impeachment because it is devi it's divisive in the country. And I just thought, well, we'll make the deal with the president and the election. In fact, sometimes I've said the president isn't worth dividing the country on impeachment. But our Constitution is worth it. Our democracy is worth it, and our republic, if we can keep it, as Benjamin Franklin said, mm -hmm. is worth it. And so the, the committee will decide what path they will take as we go forward. But our founders were very suspicious of foreign interference in our government. That's why they wrote about emoluments and that. And to ask a foreign government to, do, to assist in our election undermines the president's oath of office and threatens the integrity of our electoral system. It's wrong.